All right, guys, so this is the top and the bottom of the cornhole game. These four footers are the sides. This is 20 and 7 eighths inches, so you know. So then we'll have this board and then two of these uh, four foot footers on the side. And then we'll put a pocket hole through this board going this way and then a screw to hold it in. And then we'll do it the same for the bottom and that corner over there. board is 24 inches which is two feet you want to go in half of that which is 12 inches or one foot and then you want to go nine inches up from that which is right here and I'll give your you your center point of the circle and then you want to have a three inch radius or a six inch diameter and draw a circle and then the next step is to cut it out on the jigsaw take a thing like this and put it on ground that's level and just mark a line and then cut it right there. I'm just going to do the same on every other leg too.
this should be about a foot and two inches before you cut it. And then once you cut it, it should be about 12 or 12 inches up the whole board. So it should raise it 12 inches. Mine, I messed up on that, so I gotta redo it. But make sure yours is up at 12 inches. These boards right here are about a foot and two inches long. Uh, the actual cornhole game will be up only a foot, but when you like cut the sides and like round the top, it should go down to a foot. So when you make the pieces of wood, just make sure they're a little bit longer than one foot. So just finished two cornhole sets, and the next step is to underneath the boards on top at the bottom here. We're gonna cut another board that's at 20 and 7 8 inches. Same, same length as this one right here. And then put it about like right here, going across. That'll give us like a little box to put our sandbags in. And then like underneath, we'll have a board that flaps up and closes. make sure it's square and looks nice and then I just nailed it everywhere else about six inches apart. Just use like one of the smallest nails you can find just make sure it's a good fit and goes through the plywood into the 2 by 4 be to cut out a piece of this plywood to make the box. I'm going to cut it so it fits inside here perfectly and then I'll put hinges on the side of the board here and here and then back there so then I can swing up like that and then I'll put a board along the bottom of here that will keep it from going all the way down so it'll be flush right here. Next part, we're gonna put hinges on both or on this side right here with the board. We're gonna put them right there. And they're gonna connect to the board, and then we'll have a little lock deal right here. Now we'll put this thing on right here. That will close on. So let's get started.